Yo, what's up guys, we're back with another video and for today going to be using the Nike FC, like this brand new bundle that came out. It's actually super nice. It's one of the nicest like Octane decals I think there is in the game now. It's like really nice multicolored and uh, it looks sick like from the playing angle, like the player view, it, it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna be using that for today. It also came with these other um, explosion and the wheels as well. I'm not gonna be using the wheels. I don't really love them that much, but the decals, the decals sick, and the gold explosion is pretty nice as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys are planning on buying this, uh, you could definitely go up to the top right, use creator code Squishy Muffins if you want to support me while buying this. Um, I absolutely love this decal. I actually really do think that this decal is up there for me now, like top five in uh, what you can choose from out of the Octane decals at least. Um, Fennec has some really nice ones. I think this this still would be beating a lot of the Fennec decals, but. This is a super, super clean Octane decal. One of the best ones so far, for sure. Let's get into some games, see if we get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, for the first game, we got Molinet versus Eric and Wildfire. And I think this is our nine. So this should be our game that shows you guys my rank. So we'll play this one and then one more in the actual rank that it gives us. Oh, very, very unlucky. He may have just kind of goombaed me, but it was an accident, obviously. So hits off the back wall for my teammate. He wants to be close. Should get back to it. Nice. Good job. Good beat there. Good trust from us to be there as well. A little bit unfortunate start, like obviously he like landed on me off of a, a touch and then Almost, almost got countered attack on basically off of that, but stuff like that happens. Just gonna fake, stay close to this. Have some time, someone to use on the right side here. Nice, really good to control that. So much time in there, right? Trying to stay close to that. Wait to the very last moment when he's about to jump to to use my last thirty boost, which is no way. They can know that I'll have that, right? Looks like I'm out of boost already. Especially if you watch it from their perspective, it's gonna look like I've been out of boost for a while there. Let him touch this. Panic a bit. I'm trying to just let him hit it into me. I don't have to waste the rest of my boost there. The outcome's gonna be basically the same. Even if I use the rest of it, it's better to use it for, for recovering out of it. Even if I use the rest of that, it's basically just going to be a 50 that I win a little bit harder. I actually went for that, interesting. And my teammate missed, okay. Well. He went for that, which caught me off guard, because I could have definitely beat him to it if it went quick. But my teammate just should not have missed. But this is that awkward rank where the game thinks I'm the highest rank in the lobby, so it's going to give me someone that's a lot, probably a lot lower than the other side, if I had to guess. So it's not... Honestly, that's surprising. Fake the whole way. Fake still. Teammate went, teammate went for that way. What? I didn't even see him. For the very last moment. Nice. I did not. He, he came flying it over my head. I was just staying there. Because there was someone in front of it still. It was just there to block, basically. But he came flying in for it. Ah, that's a good cheat from him. It's going to be a goal. Yeah. Just drove full speed. Very risky cheat. Very, very risky cheat. Didn't really... He didn't try to think about where the ball would go. He basically was just... That was his plan before the ball was even hit. It was just to drive full speed into it. Regardless of how the kickoff went. That's for Solo here. I'm just going to wait with full boost. So just stay... A little bit of a safer 50. Where I don't actually flip. Played over one. Try to find a way in there. Nice. Well done. Look at shot. Good job to look for the space. The teammate also has high ping, so that could have been the reason for that first miss. And passes right, so I'm gonna see. Let's give him a. Oh, okay. I saw him mid boost. It would have been a goal probably, but I should have went for a solo in hindsight. Probably didn't expect it. People probably aren't passing at all this this new season. These placements. It's all good though. 
Good 50. I'm gonna go for their corner if I can. I could beat this guy too, I think it's good. He's gonna have a touch away. Nice, go for a back wall touch to myself because he's on the ground. It's gonna be really awkward now. Not gonna be in, but it was a good play. Execution just a tiny bit off. Good demo. Then I got a good trade. Try to jump for this for my teammate. Try to put it into a spot where you can't get like a really clean control on it. Like it has to try to take it to the corner first. Which is good. Off the wall to myself. Into a double maybe. Good read. Well done. Nice self 30 boost to recover off. Right, that's the big thing there. I'm trusting my team on this touch. Not as far out as I would have thought it would have been, but I'll just bump here. I want to pre-jump this. Soft touch to myself, maybe. That's fine. Actually, fine that my teammate went for that. I'm trying to bait it. Interesting, he faked it. Okay, he actually could have shot. So I played it that way. He actually could have came in and just completely blasted that ball. But... Opted for the fake instead. I can't get a, a grasp of what they're trying to do with the ball. It's very confusing. But... Trying to um, <laughs> adapt in any way I can. Like, what am I watching? It's a little bit too, too slow of an approach. Every time they have the ball, they're taking this really slow approach, right? Where it's going to basically just end up having to be like a 50 that's stuffed in our goal line for them to get a goal out of this. That's why you don't see me really panicking for us too much. Playing this over just one more guy that's up. Team has a free touch now. Free 1v1. Try to create some angle for myself. I have to be careful because my teammate is rotating same side. That's why you don't rotate same side, right? Because I'm about to bump into him. Let him try to touch this one time. Oh, he's going for a solo, really. He had, like, no boost stuff, and he went for a solo. Very interesting. I thought it was a pass. So you can see him having a little bit of a hard time understanding uh, this weird weird rank I'm in while uh, the game's trying to give me my rank for the season. But it is part of the, the journey, right? What did it give me? Grand champ. Two, probably? I think that's the, the highest you can get out of placements. I think we won most of them, so. Yeah, pretty good. Let's get into the next game. See if we can get back to my dubs, and I hope it's a little bit more easy to understand than whatever that was. But we had some good goals regardless, and some good plays. And our teammate played well, considering 160 ping, just like two little mistakes that ended up causing goals. But you can't blame that one. The, the ball might be like lagging really bad for him, stuff like that. So let's get into the next game. See if we keep it up. Let's see how it goes. Alright, for the last game we got ourselves Crash Lord against uh, Dr. Duffel and Z for Zed. Take that a little slow. Let him play this into us. He's no boost. I know there's no boost here. Options pretty low. Teammate's coming up with speed, so it's actually better he takes that. I had the 50 in the worst case there. Nice. Forcing to throw it away. Good cut in, create some space, get a bump on this guy. Nicely done. That cut in was very, very good. I know the guy had no boost. So that cut in was uh, all it took to beat that guy. He left the ball a little bit too early there, too easily. Even though he had none, he should have stayed on it. That's the, the key in that play that they, they went wrong there. As soon as you give a, a 1v1 to anyone that's a pro these days, it goes every time. I have to watch out the bump from behind me. You're going to fake the high, go low. Right, the bump is what makes it difficult, right? That's a really good thing. Like, in that play back there, like that first play that happened, it's going to be a goal. Oh, he missed. Okay. He probably thought I wasn't going to get bumped. Pogo. Imagine. Um, this might be bad. Can't tell what's going to happen to this. Um, that first play, after I beat that first guy, if he turned around and went for a bump on me, I probably wouldn't have been able to do anything. It forces you to speed up in a way that it makes things awkward, but as soon as I knew that I, I beat him pretty cleanly, there was no way they had help. It's uh, that situation that you don't ever want to be in. Not being able to help your teammate at all, right? 
Good save. Accidentally rotated the same side as my teammate. Should I go for a sh uh, Not good, but... Actually worked out better than if I shot it. I'm gonna go for a shot. Now that I touch this. The shot had to be perfect, that's why I ended up missing. Going for like an absolute perfect placement, top corner shots, I don't know I'm scoring that. I shouldn't have went for a shot at all. Actually, in hindsight. I should have been going for um, a touch to the corner. Would have been better, actually. Forces them to chase it down a bit, and they're both sitting in that waiting for shots, so... Actually should give my teammate the advantage if I hit them to the corner. Nice. Very awkward because I didn't have much boost, but it was actually very well played to uh, control that like that. I know that guy's forced to kind of wait because if I beat him, it's just a goal against. My right, teammate has to go for me now. I took the boost. Should instant jump. It's fine. Might have caught them both out, maybe. To me, should be close enough to shoot. That's fine. Oh my gosh. If you're there, you might as well just play the miss, right? It's a mistake that I used to make years ago. Years ago. Like, I would be there, but then I wouldn't expect the miss. I don't think my teammate expected it. But he's already there, right? So you might as well play the miss. He played the miss just a goal. Very, very uh, interesting area. I should make it back. Unfortunately, I kind of got, got kind of stuck on him. Team went for a bump. It's really bad. Now I got to stall. A little too uh, ambitious, I think, to go for a bump. You don't have, like, proper control of that. It's not, like, threatening enough for them, I think. Oh, wow. I think you went for a little bit too much power there. Absolutely destroyed the ball. Tried to aim the pass a little more to me. I think it's just a goal. It was a good, good idea to go for the pass. Just way too much power. Again, soft touch around one. Create that bump opportunity again. There it is. See the pattern. Try to beat that first guy in a way where I don't have anyone immediately following me from behind, like trying to bump me from behind. Much easier said than done, though. It's very hard to get that opportunity against good players. Good save. Try to fake on the wall, force him to go wide. Teammate should win that. It's going to be hard to save that. No other way I can get back to that one. Let's see what happened. Ah. I think he, he tried to shoot there. Instead of trying to beat him. Trying to beat him probably would have been the better option. But it did look like you can beat him, right? So it's like beat him and shoot. One of those situations that you're just trusting your instinct. And to him, his instinct seemed, uh, seemed right there. And it's fair. I'm gonna fake this on the wall, try to keep control of this. Oh, that's the right idea. That's fake, my teammate. I actually like that idea a lot. Oh, almost. Play to my teammate's side. Oh, okay, never mind. He didn't. I don't know why he wasn't ready for that, honestly. The only thing I could have done is hit it out. Oh, wait, he's trolling. He was trolling. He was just. Doing 360 drifts, that's why. I was thinking there's no way he doesn't win that ball if I hit it toward him. It can be around one of the opponents as well. But he was doing like 360 drifts in a circle. Back to me. Alright, I'm not passing anymore this game. I'm scared. He's, he's not ready. Got a flip here. Nice. You're good, dude. My cat's all over my keyboard. <laughs> You're good. These uh, placement games are always like really confusing. It always feels like everyone's all over the place, so... You're good. 
even if your cat wasn't all over your keyboard, I would completely give you a, a pass to uh, not be playing the best. Because a, a lot of, I think of it like this, a lot of these players are just being thrown into these lobbies of players that are definitely more experienced than them, and they have to try to find a way to keep up, right? Which is tough. Especially if you're on a team with the pro in uh, a brand new season reset like this, like usually you're the player that's the lowest experienced player in the lobby. Because it's assuming that that pro player is so much better than everyone else in the lobby because their elo, like their hidden number, is much higher than everyone else's, right? So it's assuming that they're going to be able to carry you easily, but that's not really the case these days. Like everyone in this lobby has been SSL before. Every single person in this lobby has been SSL before. So everyone's capable of everything. Um, it's not as easy as it was uh, to just hard carry every game, right? Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is, just watch this, like, comment, subscribe. to see us all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.